I thought that was absolutely awesome. There's a video that goes with it, and it, it'll make you cry. Yeah, I don't need to cry no more. <laughs> no, no, I've no, too definitely much of that not. Lately. But yeah, <laughs> it just it just made me think. You know, my parents have been married for either. Wait, no, they have been married for 30 years. And the only thing I could think of, and I'm going to tell this story um, one day when one of them passes. I'm going to tell this story at their funeral. One night, and keep in mind, my mother and I have a very open relationship, and so this may disturb most of you. (laughs) (laughs) But my mother and I were talking one night, and she tells me that um, one night my dad and her got done having sex, and she said, you know, they were doing the typical good night, you know, good night, and then dad rolled over. Then he turned back to her and said, by the way, there's a $200 check going into your account. And mom goes, wait a minute, after 30 years, I'm finally getting paid for this? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah. I'd do it a lot more often if a paycheck came with it. <laughs> hey, didn't they make a movie about that? <laughs> They've made a couple about them, actually. But then Mom was like, you know, and that wasn't two hundred dollars is a little steep. You know, I didn't, even, I didn't really think that performance was all that great on my end, anyway. I, I just kind of laid there. I was like, okay, Mom. TMI. <laughs> oh goodness. <sighs> So, yeah. Uh, my in-laws have been married for 40 years now. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we bought them... I, I've, a... been, I've been married for two, and that's just weird. <laughs> I think I'm heading for eight or nine. You I don't, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, once you get past a certain point, they just all sort of roll into one another. Because, you know, we don't buy each other anniversary gifts or anything. So it's just like, how old? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we give up. <laughs> well, usually we go by, because um, we got married on October 30th. So we usually just do something big for Halloween. And ta-da. Yeah, we got married right before the Australian Grand Prix. So, because that's where we honeymoon. That you know, it's at the beginning of the year. Sometime I don't know. <laughs> you know, Belinda, uh, I hate I hate to tell you this, but it it, it it's supposed to be the man who forgets all these things. <laughs> well, if we both forget, then nobody's going to get their feelings hurt, are they? I see who wears the pants in this family. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yes, we bought our in oh bought my in laws a clock for their fortieth wedding anniversary, and my father in law hasn't put it up yet. So if we all die tomorrow, well, no, today, whenever, um, that'll be how I'll be spending my last day, putting a clock up on my mother in law's wall. Woo-hoo. Yeah, at least last time we did it, I had the chance to go and get my hair done and have lunch out with friends and. I I get to sit here and listen to a radio show and then get a phone call afterwards to say exactly what we missed and what we messed up on. Ah, lovely. Okay, well, how about we add to that... From Robin. (laughs) Hi, Robin. Um, Yeah, how about we add to that list and we finish off this last review? Yes. Okay, so I managed to get my hands on the deluxe version of Evanescence's new album, which is self-titled. And I'm very happy to say it is a great album. Yeah, so for those of you that thought she was about to head into a really perverted area of the deluxe edition. Yeah, no, don't need batteries (laughs) for this one. It's all good. Uh, It comes with four bonus tracks, and it comes with a DVD with a behind-the-scenes of how they made the video clip for the first single of the CD, and Amy's reasoning behind each of the songs. Wow. If you've ever really wondered what the hell goes through Amy's head... Yep. Kind of. Go and find the deluxe version, and you'll find out. Well, I'd like to say what I've been wondering was going through her, but it's not what's going through her head. Anyway. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to play the first song off the album. Uh, but, you know, there's quite a few on there that I think that they'll end up releasing and stuff. But there's one on there that has me scratching my head saying, well, where does this fit? This is not an evanescency sounding song and it's called Swimming Home. And it's kind of a little bit Tori Amos type sound, which is bizarre. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'll play this song and then we'll get into our stories. That's so catchy. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is, but I can see what you mean. It doesn't sound evanescency. No, you know, it's it's got that little bit of like the old stuff from Fallen, but they've they've evolved, and that's good. That is good because I mean, if you keep going with the same pattern over and over again, that's why so many artists end up end up so washed out. Yeah, and this one, I think they actually did the album in Tennessee. And they had Martina McBride helping them with production. So, you know, huh. really, really nice. You know, the album, not every song sounds the same. You know, how some of their albums, you know, everything sounded the same. Yes. But this one, I actually want to go to the concert for this one because how they do some of this stuff live is just going to blow our minds. So. Or suck. But we're going to go with the first one. Well, Amy ended up learning harp uh, in the interim between albums. So she plays harp on this album. 